Hello everyone, welcome back to another quick tutorial here on Procreate. And in this one, I really want to talk about a tool that you can use to actually 2x the production of your illustrations, if not really get about to five times as much speed into the way that you illustrate in Procreate. So basically, it's a simple concept. The thing is, is that Procreate has the UI sort of divided into quadrants, as I would call them quadrants. On the top left side here, we have all of the options, all of the adjustments, layers, uh, masking and selecting. And then on the right side, top right side, you've got colors, you got layers, your rays and brush tool. And then finally, you have your brush sliders such as brush size, brush opacity. And the last quadrant per se is like sometimes we use some adjustment layers and then you have the bottom center here as the last quadrant. So then the thing about Procreate is that it becomes this sort of accessing these different quadrants as you illustrate. Sometimes you go all the way here to check on your layers. Sometimes you have to go here and set up a drawing guide, for example. Sometimes you have to find your colors. And yes, you can say that I can do some of these things with my second hand. And although I do can, um, you still, if I'm only relying on my second hand here and I have to go into adjustments, for example, then I'm, I have my, because I'm left-handed, I have my right hand sort of overlapping and going here on the left side. And that doesn't really help. So today I really want to talk about something that I know that a lot of us aren't really using as much. And the tool is, quick menu and I know that I've talked about quick menu quite a few times here in this channel throughout different videos but I never really talked about this secret tool this secret hack I believe that's really going to speed up your production as you illustrate so first and foremost if you don't know what quick menu is basically is a uh, it's accessing six other options on the canvas that you can set up custom for your productivity so in this case here, I have my sketching quick menu, which allows me to, let me just get a little bit closer here, allows me to uh, select between painting and erasing, creating a new layer, merging down layers, use my favorite uh, technical pencil to create my sketches, and then I can also use my studio pen to create the outlines of my work. Therefore, that's why I call it sketching. I think it's a great step in the process of creating my illustrations. Now, the beauty of Quick Menu is that now with the latest version of Procreate, it allows you to create multiple Quick Menus because in the past, we only really had one Quick Menu with six custom options. So now going from sketching, I can go into inking and then I have six other options, creating new layers, once again, painting and erasing. But then I have a few other things that I do, especially when I'm on the inking section. But this is not just yet the tutorial, the, the really the hack here. And that's what I want to show you. I'm just first just explaining sort of what Quick Menu is and the options that you get, which are right on the canvas and you don't really need to go anywhere else in order to access them. Now, how do we turn on Quick Menu in the case you don't know? We have to first and foremost go here into the Actions menu and then we're gonna go into Preferences and then we have to head into Gesture Controls. In the Gesture Controls menu, we have the Quick Menu right here on the left side, sort of sitting in the middle of this list. And then on the right side, we have your favorite activation method for Quick Menu. You can just tap the little square that sits between the brush size and brush opacity. You can do a touch on the canvas. You can do the little square plus a touch on the canvas. But the one that I really like to use for myself here is the touch and hold with a very short delay of 0.15 of a second. Nothing too slow to, uh, you know, if this number is too big, you would actually would have to tap and hold and then be holding there for quite a while. But also I don't want something like 0.01 of a second and it's too fast so that any touch of the screen may actually, may actually evoke the quick menu. So I have just enough on a number that sits really well for me. So now that I'm going to tap done, now this is really the hack. Just before we continue with the video guys, I just want you all to know that I have a Patreon community where you can learn from monthly extended tutorial videos, which includes all the Procreate files used, all the brushes, all the color palettes, and any extra references that were also used on these tutorials. By being a patron, you'll be able to download all of the exercise files, plus bonus content such as my top 20 plus brush pack, my top 10 plus color palettes, mobile wallpapers to dress up your phone, and more. 
So make sure to check the link in the description box of this video, start learning from slower extended tutorial videos and expand your skills in Procreate. So now let's go back to the video. The thing is, is that I've shown you, I have my quick menu with sketching, inking, all these things, but it's not really covering the areas that I was just mentioning. Effects, selections, going to the colors menu, uh, color swatches, going to the layers menu. So what we can do here is that we're going to tap and hold on the center button and I'm going to create a new quick menu as you can see right here. Quick menu number five in my case. So when I tap on this one, I have a completely blank quick menu. It's got no actions, it's got no names. So we're just going to first, I'm going to tap on this uh, new quick menu. I'm gonna call it Turbo 2 just because, you know, I didn't really have a name for this, but I'm just gonna call it Turbo. And now for us to customize each of these options, I just gotta press, uh, press and hold onto each of these options. And then you see a drop down, which allows us to select what do we actually want. So on this very top one, I'm, I'm actually going to choose open adjustments. On this one right here, tap and hold, it's gonna be color panel. On this one right here, we're gonna get to the layers panel. And then this one at the bottom, I just gotta find it. It's going to be selecting my 2D guide visibility. And then on these two last ones, the first one, it's going to be reference. And then on this very last bottom right one, we're actually going to select layer contents, choose this one right here. So now this is what we have. I tap on this little guy right here, use color panel, right here from the quick menu, I'm accessing something that is completely on the top right section of the UI without really having to go there. If I go here again, open layers panel, now I'm accessing my layers panel without having to go once again. The, you know, it's the, it's the tedious repeat, uh, repetitive process of just going in and out from all of these quadrants. You're just doing everything from the quick menu. If I tap to the layer guide visibility, I'm actually turning my canvas. I, I, you know, I'm bypassing going to the actions menu, tapping on canvas, tapping on drawing guide and turning that on and off. It's a really, really cool hack that allows you to bypass so many taps on screen, so many movements of your drawing hand or your second hand. Now, final two things is you can tap on reference and get the really nice reference uh, option, which you can use it as a mini map as you're illustrating your, your piece of work. You can add an image right here. You can have that as a reference. So it's really calling the reference, which also sits somewhere in the actions menu much faster. And the last option that we have is to select layer contents. And I hope the camera is picking that up, but it's creating a crosshatch uh, with all the parts that are not selected. And this is my selection because here in the layers menu, I did have the pants for the character uh, selected. So basically this is creating a selection much faster than me going to the layers panel, then tapping on the pants layer, then tapping on select. I did it all by just one tap on the canvas and then select layer contents. So this really has sped up, at least on my side here, has sped up my productivity quite a bit. And I hope it does the same thing on your end. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did a like, it would be super appreciated. As well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, and videos that really are here to make you a better digital illustrator every single day. Now on the right side of the screen, there's always more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload and the other one is a video that YouTube's recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.